Because the assassination of the Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh in the Iranian capital Tehran has rocked the, mid the Middle East, threatening to further destabilize the region and jeopardize ceasefire over the war in Gaza. Although the attack was widely assumed to have been carried out by Israel, the government made no claim of responsibility. Our reporter Sansom Cham tells us more of that in this report. The Hamas leader was assassinated in the Iranian capital Tehran early on Wednesday morning, an attack that drew threats of revenge on Israel and sustained further concerns that the conflict in Gaza was turning into a wider Middle East war. The Palestinian militant and the Iran's revolutionary guards confirmed Hanye's dead. The guard said it took place hours after he attended a swearing-in ceremony for Iran's new president. The 62-year-old Hanye was born in a refugee camp near Gaza City and joined the Hamas in the late 1980s during the first uprising. As Hamas grew in power, the leader rose through the ranks being appointed, part of a secret collective leadership in 2004. He became the political chief of Hamas in 2017. The following year, he was named a specially designated global terrorist by the United States. Despite that designation, and unlike Hamas military leadership, Hani traveled globally, meeting with world figures as the political head of the organization during the recent war with Israel in Gaza. Ismail Hani has taken a central role in hostage and ceasefire talks between Israel and Hamas. During several ceasefire talks, Hani had said Hamas was willing to strike a deal, but it would require Israel's withdrawing from Gaza and a guarantee to cease fighting in the enclave permanently. Demands that Israel has called unacceptable. Meanwhile, the assassination took place less than 24 hours after Israel claimed to kill a Hezbollah commander in the Lebanese capital Beirut in retaliation for a deadly strike. The Israel's occupied Golan Heights. The latest event appeared to set back chances of imminent ceasefire agreement in the early 10 month old war in Gaza between Israel and Palestine Hamas. Hamas armed wing said Hanier's killing would take the battle to new dimensions and have a major repercussions, vowing to retaliate Iran declared three days of national mourning and said the US bears responsibility because of its support for Israel. Reporting for African News, I'm Sazen.